This is a very unique situation that you have a, a populated beach like this with a resident colony of seals that live here also. A number of people were irresponsible in their behavior with the animals. So the separation of the animals and, and the human beings I think is critical and we'll just let Mother Nature take her course. The only thing that a lot of people could agree on is some sort of cohabitation. The contamination issue is what changed that. According to the county health people, there's never been a case of reported illness from people swimming off this beach. On a little patch of beach in the middle of the most valuable beachfront real estate in Southern California, something extraordinary has happened. Something that hasn't happened for nearly a hundred years. Something that nobody was expecting. It all started around 1995, when a group of harbor seals, probably from the adjacent Seal Rock Reserve, hauled out at Children's Pool Beach in La Jolla and stayed, giving this unique public institution the distinction of being the only land-based pinniped haul-out site in Southern California. I never saw before, just on movies. This event caused a lot of confusion at first. So who, who has the right away? I guess? The people or the seals? <laughs> This is the story of how a colony of adorable harbor seals, how adorable depends on your point of view. Well, at some point we have to draw the line. Do we just let the seals take over our beaches? Well, we're not going to come in with harpoons and chase them off, I can tell you that. Which have inadvertently divided not only this storybook town of La Jolla, California, but also the greater San Diego area, and for better or worse, become our seals. I personally saw parents put their children, try to put their children on the backs of the seals. People just sometimes don't get it that these are wild animals and they can be hurt. Uh, people feeding them tacos, of course they didn't eat them. Uh, tourists putting sunglasses on them, flashing bulbs. Their eyes are very sensitive, much more sensitive than ours. When we have seals and humans coming close together, there is going to be a rub to a certain extent. We've had actual verbal confrontations between a seal advocate and a person that wants the beach so that their daughter can walk out and uh, um, play in the tide pools out next to the wall. Other people that feel that the seals, especially in the children's pool beach area, they feel that the seals should not be there. They want to know if we can actually remove the seals and put them on the reserve, on that rock. The other side of it is when somebody comes up and throws a rock at the seal or pokes them with a stick or uh, changes it to the point where they harass the animal, to the point where the animal wants to move away. Not to worry. In 1972, partly to deal with the ever-increasing industry of ecotourism, the federal government prescribed definite guidelines as to the extent, if any, humans can interact with marine mammals. The Marine Mammal Protection Act provides for at the federal level protection for the seals. And the Marine Mammal Protection Act, quite simply in lay terms, says that you cannot disturb, harass, or alter the behavior of uh, these types of animals. Now if you took the Marine Mammal Protection Act to its fullest degree, you would say that, that people could not be anywhere near these animals. So as a result, it, it tends to favor the situation where the seals can basically just take over the beach and push the human presence back. And that, that presents us with a problem in an area like La Jolla, where the beaches are such a tourist attraction. Even people have advocated that we close off the wall and don't allow any access to the beach. That's not going to happen. Well, not exactly. A little over a year later, this story took a turn for the worse that no one was expecting. <laughs> 